Hi again everyone, in this video I've built an autonomous solar tracking device. This is a device that follows the sun without any computer control or GPS information. It doesn't need batteries or power supply, and it uses only about $10 in parts. A solar tracker is useful for any sort of solar energy project. If you have solar panels, they'll be much more effective at producing electricity if you can make them follow the sun as it moves through the sky. Likewise, if you're using something like a parabolic mirror to heat water, it's essential that the mirror tracks with the sun so that the focal point doesn't move off of your target. With this solar tracker, all you have to do is take it outside, and it does the rest. Presuming the sun ever comes out from behind the trees, which should happen any minute now. Up until now, the only solar trackers I've seen require astrological or GPS information to be processed by a computer to know where in the sky the sun will be on certain dates and times, and then the computer tells a series of motors which direction they should point the panel. For a long time, I've been trying to come up with a simpler way to do this. For example, the leaves and flowers on many plants follow the sun throughout the day without any way to process information. Plants don't have a brain, but somehow they accomplish this task simply by detecting where the light is and moving accordingly. The elegance of this natural function is something that I've thought about many times, but I couldn't figure out a simple way to translate it into a mechanical design. Until I saw a design built by NASA for the new Parker Solar Probe. Destin over on the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day made a video about this solar probe, and in this video he talks for a few minutes about these little light sensors that stick out on feet behind the heat shield that protects the probe from solar radiation. If one of these sensors detects sunlight, it means that the probe has rotated away from the sun in such a way that the heat shield is no longer protecting everything behind it, and the computer has sent a signal to adjust the rotation of the craft so that all of the light sensors once again find themselves in the shade. In this way, the Parker Solar Probe can automatically adjust to keep its heat shield facing the sun without requiring any communication from Earth. This solution that NASA used for their probe, I realized could be simplified even further to satisfy what I was looking for in an Earth-based solar tracker. Instead of using light sensors and a computer to process sensor information, I realized I could use tiny solar panels to run small electric motors directly. If one of the solar panels on this design is exposed to sunlight, it generates enough electricity to power up one of these tiny geared motors, which rotates the swiveling mount until the solar panel is back in the shade, causing the motor to turn off. There are two motors, one for panning the mount side to side, and one for tilting it up and down. Each motor is connected to two solar panels with the wiring in opposite configurations, so that the motor spins in one direction when this panel is exposed, and the opposite direction when this panel is exposed. For this prototype, I'm just using a piece of cardboard instead of a real solar panel or parabolic mirror on the front, but it doesn't matter, the tracking function works the same with anything that casts a shadow. These solar panels should be spaced such that whatever we have in front of this tracker covers them in its shadow when it's properly aligned with the sun. But as soon as the sun moves a certain distance out of alignment, the shadow moves with it. A solar panel gets exposed and the tracker will adjust. The further back these panels are from the object in front of them, the more accurately this tracker will follow the sun because they will become exposed to sunlight at a shallower angle. The limiting factor to moving the panels very far back is that once the sun sets and then rises again on the next day on the opposite horizon, it will be shining at such an obtuse angle compared to where the solar tracker was facing at sunset that none of the panels will be in the shade and the motors won't know how to adjust. This can be mitigated by making the whole setup larger in diameter so that the detection panels are further apart and it's harder for the sun to find an angle where it would shine on all of them. Because of this, this design should work even better the larger you make it. 
An alternate option to prevent the sun from ever shining on all the panels at once would be to put a vertical sunshade between them. This is an easy enough modification that maybe it's worth doing to this design by default. What I've made here is a pretty rough model, having pieced it together with wood and rubber bands, but I think the design is a good one. Something like this I really hope is useful to a lot of people in producing alternative energies. Hopefully a lot of you out there will be inspired to recreate this with more robust and weatherproof materials for your own power generation. I'd love to see that happen. That said, if you'd like to support me on Patreon so I can afford to keep going with these crazy inventions, that'd be really great. Please leave me comments below if you have ideas for improvements to this design or ideas for future videos. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.